Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on some power problems. Let's begin by defining power. Power equals work divided by time. And the unit of measure is a watt. Well, a watt is equal to one joule per second. So next, let's look and see what work is. Work is equal to force times distance. And the force is Newton and the distance is meter. And that is equal to a joule. So you'll see that power is basically force times distance divided by time for the problems in this particular video. So let's now work a couple problems. Problem one, a student lifts a 10 Newton book to a shelf two meters high in four seconds. What is the power used? So remember, power is work divided by time, and then work is force times distance. So what force do we have? We have 10 newtons, and then we have a distance of 2 meters. When you multiply this together, that gives you 20 joules. So work is 20 joules. And so now for power, we just take the 20 joules and divide it by the time, which is 4 seconds. And that gives us 5 watts. Because remember, watts are joules divided by seconds. Okay, example number 2 goes like this. A student drags a sled with a force of 25 newtons across 8 meters in 4 seconds. How much power is used? Well, let's see. Let's first figure out what work is, because remember, power is work divided by time. So we have a distance of 25 newtons, and it is uh, moved 8 meters. So that gives us 200 joules, because remember, joules is force times distance. Next, let's plug the work into the formula for power. So we have 200 joules divided by 4 seconds, and that equals 50 watts. Okay, how about this problem? If a person applies 80 watts of power to a lawnmower with a force of 40 newtons for 5 seconds, how far will the lawnmower move? So now let's just plug into our formula and then solve for our missing variables. So first we know that we have uh, 80 watts of power. And let's go ahead and write out 80 watts. We know that it's joules per second. But let's go ahead and write it out as newtons per meter over second. So we have 80 newtons per meter over seconds. And that is equal to he applies a force of 40 newtons. And um, we're trying to find distance. So let's call that y. And then he pushes, he applies this force for, what is it, five seconds. Okay. So now all we do is solve for y and see which units cancel out. So let's begin by, let's go ahead and go 40 divided by 5. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. And notice now we have newtons per second times y. Okay. Remember, we want to isolate the y, so what we need to do is we can divide through by 8 on both sides. And so now we have uh, 80 uh, newtons per meter per second divided by 8. Okay, uh, the, the two 8s cancel on the right, leaving us with y, and then 80 divided by 8 is 10, and notice that the newtons and seconds cancel and we're left with meters. So the lawnmower will be moved 10 meters. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.